Every time we come here, I swear you have this shirt. No, I don't. I also like this. Oh, this shirt. Oh, Chance. Awesome. Walking Dead starts on Sunday. Yep, it does. I didn't I know that. I think it's the last three episodes, so I guess I haven't watched them yet. Oh, I have. They're quite good. Cry. I know I'm gonna cry. I, I could spoil it for you. I know I'm gonna cry. Well, they have a Walking Dead boat, too. Hey, Chance, here's the perfect shirt for you. I heart man. <laughs> Square root of negative one. Wait, is that the only thing you remember from math class? No, I remember quite a bit from math. I, I remember enough to pass my GED. Two great books. That was I a lot more. That was just, that was a lot more than you think it. I want more. I. It looks just like you case. need See, to get comparison charts. I have both of them. What are they? I the read both of them. I read both of them. I have two copy. I have uh, one copy of each. Oh, I need to read the survival guide. It's really good. It's really re realistic. Best show ever is The Walking Dead. I'm sorry, but uh, actually no, it's Doctor. Game of Thrones has Daenerys Targaryen, <laughs> and she's who I'm going to be when I grow up. <laughs> she made me angry. In the okay, first. on that note, um, I'll see you guys again when, when we go back to get pick up the copies of Pokemon, or when something else crazy happens. Okay, so it's like eleven o'clock, Hawker show. Uh, we all stopped and bought candy. Katie is... You can't hardly see you. I know. There it's nice, is. isn't it? We'll, we'll watch her for a little while. She's laid down in the back seat. And, um, Chance is just, like, scrolling through Life Honey or something. Have you seen anything funny yet? Your face. <laughs> Pokemon. It's totally true. I don't know if the camera even picked that up. I want to know what There's it was. Your foot. Yeah, like a picture of a gym from Pokemon. And it said, sorry, I won't be able to go out with you guys this weekend. I'll be at the gym all day. <laughs> or something like that. But, yeah, we went uh, we went in at like 10.30 or something like that and pre-ordered the game. And now I don't think you can see it very clearly. But there is an exceptionally long line of people... Outside GameStop. It's not that long. It's reading. It's reaching from GameStop to like the n nail place. It's not that long. Over there, but yeah, we've already got our copies bought and uh, paid for. We just have to. Uh, we just have to wait. Like a half an hour until the game comes out. Why is your foot there? Why not? Are you tired? Yeah. I don't Why stay up late all that Why often. Why are you tired? Because I don't stay up late all that often. Explain yourself. Hey, Chance, lean back just a little bit right Let's not. <laughs> Squish her Let's face. Let's not. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, my face is my only asset. Pretty much. Is your only ass hat? <laughs> <laughs> yes. My face is my only ass hat. But, yeah, this is... This is the first midnight release me and Katie have ever been to. Chance, you've been to a couple more. Yeah, Call of Duty and do other things. You, you went to like all I Call of Duty one. Since like Modern Warfare or whatever, didn't you? Wasn't the last good one like Modern Warfare 2 or something? That was pretty good. They have pretty good in contest. Never won any. I don't know. That's all. This is basically just. This guy proposed to a girlfriend of and dropped the ring in a gopher hole. <laughs> That's but this, hilarious, actually. Um, the guys at GameStop told us this was like a pretty last minute deal. So there's nothing really fancy. It was basically like a the workers at GameStop like petitioned the corporate guys to have a midnight release because they weren't going to do one. Or anything for the game. But they decided to. Now there's a bunch of people out there. I'm tempted to just walk by there and see how many street passes I get on my 3DS. <laughs> Dude, everybody's fucking playing something. He's upset because he doesn't own a 3DS. <laughs> what a bum. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, um, we went to Walmart, bought candy. Nothing really yeah, interesting happened is. in Walmart. It wasn't as fun as Books a Million. We didn't yeah. go look at the graphic tees or anything. 
You did where you weren't like, oh, let's go to the graphic tees. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. you would just, you would just say, we're not the only people waiting in our car. There's some dude over there who's either waiting for the game or is plotting to rob us all. That'd be interesting. One guy trying to rob like 60 kajillion people outside of GameStop. You mean like the government? <laughs> what government? Ew. That's, that's uh... What? Stephen Hawking? <laughs> yeah, Stephen Hawking. Um, Turkey Creek where we are at the GameStop, is actually, it's surprisingly busy for 11 o'clock at night. Traffic-wise. Like, you'd think it'd just be dead. Like, I drive through here, like, when I take Katie to school. I feel like it's not that weird, because this is, like, a big shopping center and a big intersection. Well, I've driven through here at, like, 10 o'clock in the morning. At, like, 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. This place is pretty dead. Surprisingly. Because everybody's at work. Yeah. Because everybody's at work. You'd expect, like, everybody who was at work to now be at home asleep. So the government being shut down. This is a gaming channel we don't talk talk about that. Because everybody's stubborn and we have political parties. Because we're arguing over imaginary money that we don't. We don't have. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Do you guys talk about that in government class at all? Last year we did. Well, I mean, they did all the big shutdown, like, last month or whatever. Well, la- I would, I'm not in government this year. Chance, you're in government. Oh, I'm in government. Did they talk about it at all? Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Stockton uh, mentioned it a bit. My battery's running, running a bit low. Hmm. So, yeah, we're just kind of waiting here. In, like, a half an hour or so, we'll go get in line. Because right now they're basically just doing, like, the pre-buy stuff. Like, you go in, you pre-order the game or whatever, and pay for it, and then you go out and you get back in line. And they give you, like, a little sticker on your receipt that says you already paid for it. Right. Like, we were one of the first groups to actually do it. Because we got there quite early. We were smart. Because this one's done this before. Um, yeah, you, yeah, so I did find out earlier that this is not going to be my only midnight release, because the idiot in the seat across from me has invited me to the PS4 launch. Do I go to the PS4 launch? No. If you want, you're invited <laughs> now. <laughs> you have, you have to stay home. We're not buying a PS4. Um. I am. He is. He's, I'll buy a PS4 at some point. I'm going to get the Steam console, probably. Okay, be fucking retarded. <laughs> I don't know what Steam else to is do. for computers. Uh, that's one thing I want to talk about when I get a podcast. Well, I up can't and on. upgrade my computer that much, so and save the money and I'll build you one. Why not just put it on console? Because I always have a hard time focusing when I do things on PC uh, anyway. Don't you need like? I thought you had to have like a Steam account and a computer, and you could just play it on. Like the Steam console. Yeah, basically, but you hook it up to, like, a TV. Oh. So you, like, have a computer. Because I know you can, like, sync your laptop to your TV. Yeah. Or whatever. But, like, this you would... You still drinking that slushy. This would hold all of my gaming stuff. Tastes pretty fine. <laughs> and I would be totally it's like okay. like four hours old now. But, yeah. We're, ju- we're just kind of waiting. <laughs> and I decided to vlog. Once we go get in line, I'll give you guys, like, a shot of the big line out there. It's not that big. Chance, would you consider that a big line? No. Not compared to what I've seen. Not compared to, like, a bigger midnight release. I think if they had planned this, like, ahead of time, there'd be a lot more people here. But they just, like, announced the midnight release today. Or whatever. So that's why there's, like, no big party or whatever. Yeah. But uh, we've got this. Well, Jacob Ball right, I'll bring his guitar. No, no, no. Oh, no, god damn it, no. It's horrible. But we've got this. And then we're gonna go home. Me and Chance have some stuff to do for Pathfinder. He's gonna sleep. Katie's gonna go to sleep. 
And of course, we're gonna play some Pokemon. Hmm. This is the first Pokemon game I've been really excited for. Uh, yeah, because Beach is like time. not being a hipster about it. Oh, shut up. The older games are better. Hoenn region. You like the older games? The old. I like all the. The I very first one ever. The very first Pokemon. Pokemon Yellow. Oh my god. Pokemon Yellow wasn't the first one. I don't care. It was great. Red and Blue was the first one. And then they came out with Yellow. And, and then, then yellow. yellow. And then Gold Silver. Gold and Silver. The original Gold and Silver were pretty good. Um. Now it's just like. Now they just look like some fucked up experiment. The Hoenn region stuff. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald are my personal favorites. What are your favorites? You like red and blue. Oh, red and blue. Oh, I you like the can them. you like the Kanto stuff. Oh, dude, that stuff. I have a weakness for Kanto. You have the big Snorlax just chilling out in the middle of the road, and you Snorlax gotta like move him. Snorlax is my spirit animal. I have one in my locker. <laughs> That's what uh, Leah said. She's like, "What are my friends' spirit animals? Snorlax." Like, my favorite my favorite Pokemon was for the longest time Pichu. I don't know why. Oh, I had like a level 99 Pichu, like the pre-evolution of Pichu. That's, Pikachu. That's cute, Pichu. I don't know why. I had one that went I from game to game. I was always like, why you know, why you know upgrade Pikachu? Why? He's like really super know. OP. You have to get a Thunderstone. That's what I'm saying, dude. Dude, they need more Eevees. They need to give you like They've nine. added like two or three Eevees. Really? They Evolutions. Because, like, like, that was the hardest decision. Guy. You got one Eevee, motherfucker. Breed it. You got that. Breed it. Yeah, you can breed it with a ditto. Oh, my God. Have you seen the... Have you seen the the, uh, the uh, meme for that? There's, like, an Eevee. He's like, what are you oh, doing? I've seen Why are you leaving me here? And there's, like, a ditto. Hey there, precious. I'm like, <laughs> oh, God, no! <laughs> it's great. I have seen that. That's hilarious. Yeah, so, but, yeah. We're just kind of waiting. So I'll but they you. added Glaceon, Leafeon, and now Sylveon with the new type. Yeah, yeah they've added let's the just new... be honest. All those new Ons are fucking dumb. They've added the new Fairy type, and Sylveon or whatever is the biggest Look, if anyone it. wants to diss the Fairy type, I'm going to have to make a full Fairy team, and it's going to be OP. I'm going to I don't know. What I didn't really understand is supposedly, like, Meryl, the water Pokemon or whatever, is a fairy type. Yeah. That never made any sense to me. But so is whatever it was, this big, like, ice cube, basically, thing. I can't um, remember what that one is. Glaze so, something. It's, like, from Hoenn. No. Yes. I don't... I, like, yeah. I really, like, I love dragons, and, like, my favorite Pokemon... Baby Drake. ...was, uh, remember... It was that, like... Big puffy dragon thing. Dragonite? Altaria? No. I don't even know if that's a Pokemon. Dragonite! Yeah, 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 him. I just said that. That was He was awesome. I loved him. Can't you like Charizard? I quite like Blastoise. Charizard, all-time favorite. Uh, I might, a Charmander was my first. Dude, Pokemon. I watched the Pokemon episode, and Ash had always an issue with Charizard. Like, Charizard was like a rebel and never wanted to do anything for Ash. And so he takes him to like a... A colony, mm -hmm. and he leaves them there. Yeah, I remember that. It was the saddest moment the saddest of my life. I was like, was the saddest back? moment of my life was in the first Pokemon movie. When, P when Pikachu cries, I cried. everybody I cried. cries. I was like, oh god. Like, I, I, don't, like, I don't cry very often, but I will break down in tears at that scene. Like, oh I only god. cry when Mufasa dies. I cried then too. She didn't even fucking talk about the same damn thing. She's like, I cried in Lion King. Like, bitch, we're talking about Pikachu <laughs> crying. Dude, that was just so fucking sad. Like, Ash started crying because he had to leave Charizard. He's like, oh, it's not even. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Like, I watched the Pokemon series that me and Katie did before we played the games, I think. Probably because we were not allowed it's... to play games. Yeah, me and Katie weren't allowed to play video games. It was until we were like eight or nine years old. I think we were seven. I was I don't two remember. when I started playing. And now I do live streams. <laughs> and these are video games. So does this idiot. Huh? Katie doesn't. Katie doesn't have a computer that can do it. Katie's a. Katie but, yeah, draws things for me. My battery is running low. I've, I've got quite a bit of footage I've that's going to go up uh, sometime tomorrow. Or I'm going to release two. Because I did one earlier today. And of course, what are you doing? I hear my hairbrush. And, but yeah. 
I'll do one or two more scenes. I'll do like another two or three minutes after we actually get the game. Like when we get home or something. But, yeah, and that's all for now. I'll see you oh guys soon. Oh my god. Soon. Watch this. <laughs> so this is, this is a shot of just the line. It's not, it's not the most impressive at a thing. But this is my first one, so it is, it is quite big.